We loved exploring Leeds, including the Corn Exchange and the Brotherton Library at the University of Leeds. Oh, and their business school building is absolutely beautiful. We were in danger of being exposed to a little bit of high culture, but it was time for another adventure. Maybe if we took a moment Long enough to realise how alike we are Today is a day of high adventure. So we finished the Liverpool to Leeds, which ends right there. We were going to ride on a road to our next stop, but because the volunteer for the Canal Trust told us there's bike paths all the way along this river and also up to Shelby, we're going to ride along there. Now we can't find any information on this and when we look at it on Google Maps, it seems to be of dubious quality. One, one interesting thing, if you're interested in doing either of these uh, trails, the main railway station is right next to the end or the start of this adventure. So Leeds' main railway station is maybe 100 metres from where we are now. So, wish us good luck because we have no idea what we're about to encounter. Well, it's all started out very well. You know, if this is going to be the next 50 kilometres, we're going to knock this over quick smart. Oh, hello Maria. The world is a small place. We know exactly one person in the entirety of Leeds. 700,000 people live here. And this morning, with no planning, we ran into her on the way out of town, Maria. She was running and we were cycling. Go figure. We think we have to follow this canal until we split off to the Shelby Canal. Selby. The Selby Canal. Okay, the path is getting a little bit more uh, woolly. You know, remembering this is a bike path and there's steps and there's barricades put across it. But still, it's looking up. Very tranquil. You may notice the slow degradation of the path from when we left Leeds. The River Air is also referred to as the Air and Calder Navigation because it has a canal element built into it, but essentially it's a river. We've crossed the river at the marina and we're heading up to a little village on the other side to cut through to uh, Newton Lane. Charlie wants to ride along Newton Lane beside the river, or just, it's just north of the river. Taking this uh, route was a strategic retreat from the riverbank. Uh, because it was getting a bit scratchy. The fat man is a little up and about. I love these squeezes. If there's anything that's going to make you feel awkward, there then. So we're on our old lines, a lines way, which is an old railway line, so a rail trail, and it's going from old Garforth to Castleford. fierce creature in the bush. We're just going through Brotherton and Charlie's interested in the power station here. Not sure what it is. Okay, I'm getting a bit, feeling a bit apprehensive about now. This is really quite bouncy and actually feels a lot worse than it looks. We had reconnected with the river air and unfortunately it was a mistake. G'day, hello, how are we? We're under a bit of a quandary. We're just past Marsh Drain, where it meets the River Air. So the River Air is just there. And as you can see, the path is almost non-existent. The fence doesn't open, so we're gonna lift the bikes over the fence and continue on. But the path is effectively non-existent and there's not a lot of, uh, what would you call it, uh, instructions other than Google Earth tells us we can keep going. So we're going to keep going. And this, the signage says pedestrians, pedestrians in two different directions, but there's nothing. And when you go over here and look down here, this fence continues. So it's not like you can go around this and continue. So Charlie's suggesting we throw the bikes over the gate. Ooh, my bike just fell over. That's probably not a good idea. 
<laughs> so yes, um, not recommending it at this stage. We'll see. It's at about this point, sensible people would turn back. <laughs> Needless to say, okay. we continue. Watch out for this thing in the middle. This is a strong fence. What do you mean I shouldn't just like stick my feet, my legs on them? Look at that. Athletic. The path is kind of scattered with stinging nettles and brambles. I would just like to point out these paths are. They're out to grab you. I'm bleeding all over the place. Why? Ah! <laughs> That's supposed to be a bridge. You can go across. I hate you, Google. Charlie's just like, oh, just keep riding. I'm so used to her taking me the wrong way that it doesn't phase me anymore. Me taking you? It's Google Maps. <laughs> Between Google Maps and the Eurovelo, we're constantly led astray. Poor Charlie, he'd taken quite a beating by now. PJ's a cow for videoing this. I don't want to do any more of that part. No? Would you recommend it to people? No, especially when you get to the bit where the tractors have been, it's just riding over corrugations the whole way. <laughs> It's like bang, 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 bang. So now we've got the choice of a bull or the road. And what are you doing? I'm taking the road. <laughs> Seriously, I wasn't worried about the bull. It was the bloody corrugations. I couldn't take any more. My poor ass. Thank God for this beautiful tarmac. We're heading up to Birkin and then across to the bridge on the Selby Canal. When tractors and imprisoned sheep are the highlights, you know there's not much to see. It was quite tranquil and bucolic, the scenery that we were travelling through on the road. Heading up to Gate 4th now, and as you can see, I'm out in front, Charlie's behind. The Kraken strikes again. If I don't let her get in front once in a while, she has a little hissy fit. We're on Mill Lane. Just when we were getting momentum, road closed. So we've just come through Brayton and the nice road worker chap led us through their site. So it's very kind. This is the Brayton Bridge on Selby Canal. And we've just turned off here and we're heading up along the canal until we get to Selby. These bloody squeezers. Selby was founded on the wealth that comes from water. It had a large shipbuilding industry and was an important port in the past. Now it's known for its outdoor markets and friendly welcome. Now, I'd just like to point out that our bikes are not carbon fibre, they're steel and they weigh 20 kilos with nothing on them. And they're a bit awkward as well. <laughs> because Charlie hasn't carried bikes upstairs enough today, he's got one more. <laughs> one more round. The pub accommodation was really good actually. That's a good angle there. You don't see many where the man is doing that bit and the woman no, is driving. I like steering. Yeah. Okay, uh, we've just arrived in Selby and uh, it's we've come 50 kilometres today, 50.5 kilometres exactly. If we come directly here, it would be like 32 kilometres, but we, we went along the river and then we came up the canal and some of those kilometers were very hard kilometers like you're really struggling to get above five six k's an hour because the path was that non-existent and there was lifting bikes over fences and things like that so it's 50 kilometers i know it's not amazing but it was a hard 50 k's and if people are considering riding from leeds to selby do you recommend going on the towpath charlie 
very select parts of it, yes. But uh, if it, it looks like there isn't one, then there, let me tell you there isn't one, okay? <laughs> and you should find a roadway. Um, but yes, yeah, the towpath we've been on just recently for the last like two kilometers has been great. And coming out of Leeds, the towpath was good for about 15 kilometers. The bit in the middle, not so great at all. Next time, trains, race courses, and the solar system. We travel the solar system. Would you like to meet up? We'll be in Whitby soon and Durham and many other places in the UK. We're finishing up in Manchester, heading back through Leeds and all sorts of places on the way. So send us a message.